Hey there guys, how's it going out there? My name is Jesus Quesadilla and welcome to the unboxing video for Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, just got moved into my new apartment and yeah, kind of digging it. Um, but before I got here, I let you guys know on my Let's Plays that I'd be unboxing the PS3 version of GTA 5. came out a few days ago actually. Um, so I'm a little bit late doing this. Sorry, I've been moving around. It's crazy. It's hectic. But um, yeah, you guys know what you're here for. So why don't we get into it? I'm just going to go ahead and move the camera down a little bit. Sorry, I'm in my pajamas. I just like to be cozy. Um, got my keys here. I'm going to go ahead and splice this guy open. And uh, this is, what, what did it go for? $150 on GameStop, I think. And uh, they had it delivered to my house for about six bucks, so that's nice. Um, I'll go ahead and put up something on the screen that says everything that comes in this collector's edition, because I don't know off the top of my head, I kind of forgot. But um, no, this is the box that was inside the smaller box, so it's pretty neat. Move the camera a little bit more. Let's go ahead and see. Um, as far as my Let's Play of this game, which, well, that looks cool, uh, I will be doing a Let's Play of this game at some point in the future. Um, I'm going to say probably I'm going to take at least a week or two to play through the game for myself. I'd like to beat the main story before I start my Let's Play, and uh, I'd also like to do some GTA Online stuff when that gets released. GTA Online was going to be delayed two weeks till after the actual release of the game. So this is the game itself. Uh, comes in this really, really nice collector's tin with uh, the three main protagonists of the game on the front. I actually really like this. And uh, here they are in the back committing one of their heists. So you guys can get a look at that. Let's go ahead and open that first before we go any further. Um, got the full game. Grand Theft Auto games always come with a map, which is nice. Those of you who watch my Grand Theft Auto 3 Let's Play know Really could have used that for that game, but that's all right. Manual game. So that's pretty awesome. That's the uh, the main reason why I bought this. But now to get into all the little collectible goodies. Uh, first of all, all the free crap you get. There's a lot of it. So let's see here. You get bonus outfits and tattoos. You get stunt plane trials, which I'm guessing is some kind of side mission thing. Additional weapons, custom characters. Uh, the custom characters are for GTA Online. Uh, so we'll get to see that in a week and a half from now. Special ability boost, unique vehicles in the garage, and the Atomic Blimp, which actually comes with pre-orders too, I think. But yeah, so we get all this cool stuff. I'm not going to show you guys the code on the back. Don't want you stealing it. Um, no, you guys wouldn't do that. You're nicer than that, right? Uh, ooh. Not sure what this is, actually. Just a kind of like a blueprint of the city kind of looks like. That's nice. I could use some wall decorations, so maybe I'll just put that up on the wall. Set that down for now though. Alright, got a a key with the Grand Theft Auto 5 logo on it. It's kind of cool. I believe that goes to a little uh, a safe bag. Ooh, this is nice. This is actually one of the things I was more excited for to get. Let's go ahead. It's a Los Santos hat. Pretty awesome. Uh, San Andreas is one of my favorite games in the series and uh, did a Let's Play of that one too a while back. So it's kind of cool being able to get that. If I can just get it out of here. Well, I guess I'll just do that. See, so yeah, I got the Los Santos hat now. Model it for you guys, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, there's that whole business. I'm not a thug, I'm sorry. But that's cool. We'll definitely wear that at some point. Uh, and then, the last item on the list, uh, this is what the key goes to. Uh, it's kind of like a safety deposit bag, that's what it is. Never actually owned one of those, so... Go ahead and open this bad boy up. And uh, if you guys like unboxing videos like this, let me know. And in the future, I'll make it a point to get more like collector's editions because normally I don't. Or if I do, I don't normally show it off on video. But so this is the safety deposit thing. 
kind of neat. Oh, it's already locked right now. But uh, I guess this is what the key goes to. Now, I'm wondering if each collector's edition has a unique key or if the same key from every collector's edition works for all the safety deposit bags, you know what I mean? Uh, so if somebody else uh, out there could get into my safety deposit bag. But anyway, just put the key in and then you can pull all your stuff in here. It's actually really, really sturdy. Um, when I saw this thing online, I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it because it's kind of just like a bag, right? But the locking mechanism they have on here, it's pretty hard, I, I mean, if you want to, you could just cut through the bag to get to whatever's in there, I guess, if you were trying to steal something, which you shouldn't do. Um, but the locking mechanism here is actually really nice. It's not chintzy, it's not cheap. Um, so yeah, all in all, maybe I'll throw my phone in there so no one steals it. But that was the unboxing, so just the last general overview. It came with the game and this nice collector's tin. It came with this blueprint map. It came with the lockbox or the safety deposit bag with the key came with all the bonus DLC stuff blah 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 and personally my favorite thing about it is the hat I don't know I feel like I paid $150 for a Los Santos hat that's just me <laughs> but um anyway so let me know if you guys enjoyed the video blah 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 and um, look forward to me finishing up Grand Theft Auto 4 The Lost and Damned I'm um, going to try and work on a new episode of that really soon. Hopefully that entire Let's Play will be done pretty quickly. We're about halfway through the game. And then once that's done, we can crack into Grand Theft Auto V. So looking forward to that. And until the next time, guys, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace!